What to do, YouTube? Uh, man. <laughs> I'll tell you, it's been an extremely busy couple last couple of days. Do me a favor. Go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe button for me real quick. Also, before I get into the video, I just want to give a shout out to my man, Magic, who ended up putting, that putting together an excellent thumbnail for my uh, Miami Dolphins uh, Hard Rock Stadium a tour a thumbnail. I appreciate that big time, man. Uh, much love. But uh, topic of the video. Let me sit back and talk about the uh, Miami Dolphins end up firing Platt Fla Flaherty. Excuse me, Flat Flaherty. Excuse me. Um, obviously, if we was to really seriously think about this, it's only been uh, four four real training camp practices. Uh, if you want to count OTAs, we can count OTAs, but really two 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 pad practices. And honestly, I was out there yesterday myself, and I saw exactly how the offensive line play was going um you 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 may sit back and criticize brian flores all you want but let, let's let's put the evidence on the table here one of the things that have been an extreme issue over the past let's say 10 years i would say is the miami dolphins offensive line now i think it's about time that we end up start taking this offensive line issue seriously now Due to the firing of Flaherty was the fact that he was unable to implement the system that Brian Flores wanted to have wanted to be implemented. That's a big problem. Uh, honestly, I think when you when you when you when you think about it, what leads into the firing was number one. Obviously, yeah, like I said yesterday, I was at the practice. I saw the coaches. They ended up running, uh, running towards the uh, the TNT wall and running back along with the players. So. This is this. I think this is more of a statement fire, uh, to be quite honest with you. That Brian Flores is not taking no nonsense. But uh, if we was looking to uh, Pat Flaherty over the course of the last couple of years, um, pre this is the previous year he was with the Jacksonville Jags Jaguars, the 2018 season. I'm just saying, like, what, what was the reason in hiring an offensive line coach when he couldn't do anything for that Jacksonville Jaguars line? Um, honestly, when we when the Dolphins ended up playing playing the Jags later on in the season, I felt like we was able to put amical amount of pressure on Blake Bortles, and the offensive line just looked terrible. If there's a Jacksonville Jaguars fan on here watching that can clarify that up for me, that the offensive line was better than they let go so on and so forth, let me know. But that the offensive line for the Jaguars looked terrible. Leonard Fournette couldn't get going, and He's Pat Flaherty is the offensive line coach, so that reflects off of him. So for him to end up coming to the Miami Dolphins, uh, looking at that, um, that's not that's not that's, that's it's, a, it's, a, it's a red flag. I'm sorry, it's a red flag um, in, in itself. Because like I said, we have set us Miami Dolphins fans have suffered over the years of terrible offensive line play and terrible offensive line, terrible offensive line coaches. Like two years ago, we had an offensive line, an offensive line coach end up sniffing cocaine. So Platt for Harity, not saying that he's going to be the next one to end up doing something crazy like that. But still, like I felt like we should, you know, bring in, you know, some somebody with a better a better resume as far as offensive line success, dare I per se, but uh, who's going to be replacing them is going to be Dave Deguye, Dave Deguyelmo, Dave Deguyelmo, Dave Guyelmo. Okay, Dave Guyelmo. That's how it goes. Dave Guyelmo, Dave Guyelmo. All right, that's how it is. Dave Deguyelmo. Got it. All right, so he's going to be coming in to replace um, Pat Flaherty. Uh, when I when I looked at uh, Dave Delgoyelmo's resume, my man Lily had this is his third stint with the Miami Dolphins. He was with the Miami Dolphins from 2009 to 2011. Honestly, I thought the Miami Dolphins offensive line was pretty was pretty decent at that time. Uh, again, he returned back in 2017. Eh, offensive line was a little shaky. Um, and then, of course, 2018, he was with the Indianapolis chart. I said the Indianapolis, Indianapolis, uh, Indianapolis Colts for the 2018 season. Honestly, when I look at the Indianapolis Colts this previous season, I felt like Andrew Luck was 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 able to, you know, throw the football in a clean pocket. Uh, what 
oh, especially oh, especially over the years of Andrew Luck being there in Indianapolis, end up getting hit all the time, and that's how them injuries started to accumulate for Andrew Luck, his inability to stay healthy. But Andrew Luck was able to play a full 16 game season. So with that being said, I like how they, I like where Dave Guillermo is coming from the Indianapolis Colts and able to keep him upright with uh, the uh, the advances of the Indianapolis. Indianapolis Colts' offensive line. Hopefully, he could do the same thing for the Miami Dolphins line. But um, yeah, going back to uh, Brian Flores and the fire. Like I said, I think it's a statement fire. Like first, it started off with the, with the, with the laps to the to the take no talent wall. Coaches were included, so that I think that was the first step. And then, like I think this is a statement move by letting you know, hey, we got to get this together. That puts all the other coaches on notice. Ain't nobody safe. Ain't nobody safe. We want to we want to get it done, and we want to get it done right. And like I said, offensive line has been an extremely big issue over the past several years. That has just not, that's had has been consistently bad. Has been consistently bad. So I, I, I like this move. I know I've been extremely down on Brian Flores ever since he can't walk through the front door. But for once, I'm safe to say I like this move. I don't like no nah. We don't want no nonsense. Let's let put everybody on notice right now. Ain't nobody's job safe. Let's get it done right. But let me know what you guys think. You know what it is. If you enjoyed the content, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. This is Great One Devore. I'm up out of here.